Welcome back. It's your boy Jay, aka the Murder Whistle. Today, we are watching winner of our '80s comedy poll. We're watching Back to School. Now, um, I know Ronnie Dangerfield is in this movie. I might be wrong, but I'm pretty sure somebody told me Holly was in this. I'm actually hyped to watch this because I love Ronnie Dangerfield. I'm not gonna do a whole big intro, you know what I'm saying? Because I don't know what to expect in this. <laughs> Other than some, <laughs> some wonderfully ignorant stuff. <laughs> I'm excited for it. But if you catch yourself wanting to watch this or any of my other full limps, head over to Patreon. Don't forget to check out the gaming channel. Don't forget to check it out on social media. And don't forget to check out the merch store. Well, with all that being said, I'm ready to get into this, so I'll see you on the other side. Let's get it. Okay. New York, 1940. You call this a report card? What kind of marks is these? What do you get? <laughs> I tried, Pop. I can't do it. Then try harder. I mean, what did he get? You can do anything in life you want to do. Remember, you're a baloney. They say you're a baloney. Go back to school. Shut the f up. Hey, man, Roddy Dangerfield make the best faces, man. Hi there. Are you a large person? A little on a hefty side, perhaps? Well, let's face it. Are you fat? Hey, man. When you make love, do you have to give directions? Hey, he said, when you make love, do you have to give directions? Because at Thornton Mellon's tall and fat stores, we've got you covered. Hey, man, that's f***ed up. Husky, stop. Extra stop. Shut the f*** up. It is, Paulie. Lou, did you see the new spot? Yeah, I seen it. Do I look fat in it? You could lose a couple of pounds. He still wrote. <laughs> I gotta get bigger actors. I can't call Root. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. And they're in their grubby. Jason. Oh. Okay, everybody, take a break. How you doing? How's the diving going? Oh, it's great. Edlo, we just uh, finished up practice. Then come home. Tonight, your mother and I are having a big party. It's our fifth anniversary. <laughs> he said we have our fifth anniversary. I gotta go, okay? Okay, Jason. Take care of yourself. I love you. Yeah, I love you too. All right. Shut the f up. It ain't old boy from Cry the Kid. Fucker. Now, if it's too much for you, we're gonna have to get ourselves a new towel boy. Oh, he gets a towel boy? Hey, man, I'm gonna go ahead and tell you. I'm hyped to see the old boy from Cry the Kid in this. I ain't seen him since I was little. Home, sweet home. I like the old house better. I like the old wife better, too. <laughs> Lay off Vanessa. She gets great headache. I can shut the f up. He said she gave a great headache. <laughs> I had to catch up on it. <laughs> that was a little slow. Jennifer, you look divine. Oh. And Peter? Well, I thought you were still in Portofino. Now, why haven't you called? Where is Portofino? Oh, 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 I'm oh, 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 oh. The fuck are they doing? Hey, Adam and Eve. Uh, we were just, uh, Looking for some uh, cocktail napkins. Hey, where? Under her dress? You're impossible. Well, you are easy. Shots fired. Mr. Mellon, your wife was just showing us her Klimt. You too, huh? <laughs> oh, the painting. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I bet he's so stupid, man. This is the second movie I watched to be where he's super rich, but he don't act like the rich people. Millicent, you look charming. I love your dress. Don't you, Thornton? Yeah, if that dress had pockets, you'd look like a pool table. <laughs> you have no class, Thornton, and I am tired of it. I want a divorce. I knew we had something in common. Yeah, sign these. Damn, he was quick with it, wasn't he? This is gonna cost you plenty. Let's talk about class, man, all right? Here's you and George, you're in a guest room. Classy, isn't it? 
Here's you and Georgia in a rumpus room. Another classy one, huh? Hey, hey he out of pocket. I love him. Hey, wait, I got more. Hey, my man was, hey, he was waiting. He was, hey, he had it in his pocket. It's been on his mind. What happened in there? What happened? I got rid of Vanessa. You know damn well he didn't do that. I'll tell you what bothers me. I let her come between me and Jason. Pack our bags. We're going up to that college to see my son. Hey, was Polly this big and rocky? Like, he looked, he looked, Polly looked like, you know what I'm saying? Hey, man, what he wearing? Wait here, I'll try this one. Hey, man, why he just look like he just woke up? Nah, bro, that's not, that is not your son's house. You about to catch a case. I'm talking to you, I need some help. Oh, take it easy, honey, I didn't see a thing. You're perfect. Perfectly understandable, Mr. Mellon. It was an honest mistake. Hey! You're all right, officer. Hey, a little something for the kids. Okay, take that. It's okay, huh? And just remember, the best thing about kids is making them. <laughs> hey, man, he just, hey, he just, is that, was that a cop or just an old cap security guard? The job market is today, you know? Here's Valerie Desmond. Shut the f up. Look how tight her ass is today. <laughs> Shut the f up. It's this whole stupid capitalist system, you know? I don't know what's going on with his hair, but was this before or during the drug use? Ah! Dad, what are you doing here? I'm robbing your room. That's what I'm doing here. We drive 300 miles to see the kid. That's the greeting we get. Polly got some liquor. Y'all see that? I looked for you at that fraternity house. They said you weren't a member. Well, I, I can explain that. They also told me not in the diving team. They said you were the towel boy. Well, I can explain that, too. Okay, explain it. I lied. That explains it, huh? Who's this? Oh, uh, I'm sorry. Uh, this is uh, my roommate. That's Derek Lutz. This... <laughs> is that your real hair? What do you think? I think you're trying to get back at your parents. That's what I think. <laughs> Come on, show me the campus. I want to talk to you. Hey, man. And hey, he's so young in this bitch, too. You know what I'm I know I know Robert Daly Jr. now. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't, I don't know that dude. He's young as hell. I mean, look at it this way. At least you're getting an education. Dad, last semester I got nothing but C's. A, B, C, you're in the top three. What are you worrying about? Hey, man, his dad's cold here. Okay, then. I'll do it with you. I'm going to college. What do you think? What do I think? I think you're nuts. Nuts? So who made the rules? Hey, his dad a real one. Since you have no high school diploma and no transcripts of any kind, no SAT scores, and you're 30 to 40 years older than our average freshman, well, damn. How can this university ever see its way clear to accept you as a student? As Calvin Coolidge once said... Shut the f*** up. Mr. Thornton Mellon. There's nothing like good, clean business, huh? And a little monkey business. <laughs> hey, Roddy Dangerfield, wild as hell, man. It's Dr. Philip Barbe, who's the dean of our school of business. David, I just want to get it on record that I am totally against this. Oh, he a f boy. All right, but I'd just like to say, in all fairness to Mr. Mellon here, he was a really big check. Yeah. And the reason guys like you got a place to teach is because guys like me donate buildings. I wasn't speaking to you, Mr. Mellon. But he's stating facts, though. I hereby dedicate this building to myself. <laughs> I mean, I'm saying he got the car dirty. He deserved it, but I'm saying... Hey, now, Dad, it's just like we talked about. You sign up for whatever interests you, okay? I mean, his car looked like that rock I'm looking for in Red Dead. This is worse than a track. You want to move some people for you? No, nah, don't push anybody around. This is college. Let me think for a minute. Hey, man, Polly looked like he stink. It looked like he smelled like this old, dirty boo booze. Oh. You okay? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm fine. I'm just upset because they closed Botany. Hey, he like him tall, don't he? I'm Valerie Desmond. Yeah, I know. I can't stop looking at his hair. Listen, you mind if I sneak in a line here with you? Oh, um, well, actually, these guys were nice enough to let me in, so it's really up to them, I guess. 
<laughs> Robert Downey Jr. was like, nah, f*** it. I'll tell you what. Maybe if you got a note from each and every one of these people saying that it was all right, then we'd reconsider. But until that day, take a hike, you elitist fraternity scumbag. Hey, Iron Man don't give a f***, do we? Thank you. I'm dead. <laughs> He my age. I guess it don't matter, Robbie. Roddy Dangerfield there. <laughs> you know, I don't know one Bruce Springsteen song. Not one. Come on, let's register. And, it, and if I do know it, I don't know he sings it. That is Mr. Thornton Mellon. Hey, she is bad. The stupid Clod thinks he can buy his way out of the gutter. I don't think so. I think he was just having fun. Oh, really? Well. Ain't you got a little accent on her? I can't wait to get him in my class. We'll see how much fun he is then. Oh, Philip. You're all stuff. Look, add a few hundred to the bill and throw you in a boy's little party, okay? Hey, hey. I mean, that's a good dude. <laughs> it was like, he said, add a couple of extra hundred and throw a party. I sure will. Well, boys, what do you think? <laughs> Man, shut the f*** up. My man took three dorm rooms and made it one big ass suite. We're going to jump right in with both feet and create a fictional company from the ground up. Uh, what's the product? Let's say we're making tape recorders. The Japs will kill us on a labor course. Hey, he talked to a real businessman. They're widgets. What's a widget? It's a fictional product. It doesn't matter. Hey, man, hey. Hey, he hates this motherfucker, don't he? You will see a cost analysis for construction of a 30,000 square foot facility. Hey, you're better off leasing it a buck and a quarter, a buck and a half a square foot. Take your down payment and put it into CDs. Hey, he put them on game. Maybe bribes and kickbacks and mafia payoffs are how you do business. But they are not part of the legitimate business world. And they're certainly not part of anything I'm teaching in this class. Sorry, just trying to help, that's all. His voice sounds almost computerized. Talked about but he don't know dick. Yeah, well, you know what he knows how to do? Flunk him. Flunk me? Flunk him! <laughs> okay, great attitude. Look, do you at least know where your next class is? Contemporary American History, Professor Turgeson. Welcome to Contemporary American History. Shut the f*** up. I'm Professor Turgeson. Hey, man, this that dude to be going off. Ain't he like a comic or something? Or he was a comic? Why, in 1975, we pulled our troops out of Vietnam? And a lot of people like to believe that. I was up to my knees in rice paddies with guns and Edward going up against Charlie, slugging it out with him while pussies like you. Look at the veins in his forehead. Oh, no! <laughs> hey, 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 Professor, take it easy, will you? I mean, these kids, they were in grade school at the time. How come we didn't cross the 38th parallel and push those rice eaters back to the Great Wall of China and take the first big brick and nuke them back into the fucking Stone Age River? Hey, this motherfucker need a hug. Because Truman was too much of a pussy wimp to let MacArthur go in there and blow out those cummy bastards. Good answer. Good answer. I like the way you think. I would drop that class today. A good teacher. He really seems to care about what I have no idea. Hell y'all. Hey, hey, we drop in that class immediately. And Gibraltar is a girl, for I was a flower of the mountain. Or shall I wear red? Yes. And how he kissed me under the Moorish wall. Got him. First, I put my arms around him, yes, and drew him down to me so he could feel my breast. Shut the f up. Yes, I will. Yes. Yes. Yes! <laughs> what a woman. Dad, she is the teacher. You know, I like teachers. Hey, he don't give a f If you do something wrong, they make you do it over again. <laughs> oh. Hey, you know, I've never thought of that. Well, you're not the usual freshman, but I'm sorry I can't. Actually, I'd like to join you, but I have class tonight. I'll tell you what, then. Why don't you call me sometime when you have no class? All right. Maybe I will. Hey, shoot a shoot, boy. Hello, Philip. What did he want? He looked like a Philip. 
He wants you to dress up as Wonder Woman, tie him up with a golden lariat, and force him to tell the truth. No, just dinner, Philip. Oh, he nasty, nasty. I've been thinking about us. Seriously, Diane, we're both intelligent, well-educated adults. We should be together. Oh, he's caught, he's still well on the wrong side. He's not noticed that. Yes, I want to have fun and be romanced and be loved. So let's not rush into anything. Yeah. Hey, how are you? What's happening? <laughs> hey, man, why is this man in his robe? Uh, they have lockers. You, you... I don't change in front of guys. I mean, the next thing you know, you're showering with the fellas. And the next thing you know, you're pinned to a sophomore named Chip. Come on, let's go. <laughs> I'll see you later. Huh. Hey, man. I give it to people. They got confidence to put those little things on. And I ain't even talking about their package. Just to not get wedgie. I just feel like it is right up your ass, you know what I'm saying? Wait a minute. I'll be right down. Hey, right, man, shut the f up. What's the guy your age doing here with these kids? I'm looking for the fountain of a uh, middle age. Fountain <laughs> of middle age. So where did you learn how to dive? Atlantic City. I was in the water show. I used to open for the diving horse. You're kidding. He said diving a horse. You know, there was a guy did the most amazing dive called the Triple Lindy. The hardest dive I ever saw in my life. I had an uncle named Lindy. Oh, I don't joke about dives, especially that one. It almost killed me. C can you, your kid do that dive? Uh, nobody can. It's too dangerous. You know, you know, he tried out for the team last semester. He, he didn't do that good. Jason, do the two and a half. Uh, Jason been up there for a minute, ain't he? Not bad. Hey, man, Jason, all right. My main melon. The f do he got? I'm supposed to meet my dad here and study. In fact, he's supposed to be here already. Okay, well, ah. You know, if you change your mind, pal, you don't want to be. I change my mind, I'll seek psychiatric help. It's hey, man. Hey, what's wrong with Iron Man, man? What is the art system and what does it tell us? Hey, shoot a shoot. Listen, I was just wondering, um, would you do my astronomy homework for the rest of the semester? Yes. Say, how about joining me and my friend over there? Your friend looks a little strange. Why that? Lovely girls. How would you like a life of luxury and deceit? Hey, Roddy Dangerfield got gay. Come on, join us in the beer, okay? Yeah, okay. Come on, okay. Hey, man, back in college, there was a uh, place on 3rd. They used to have quarter pitcher beer night. Listen, don't even like beer. When you broke, <laughs> you want to get drunk, you do what you got to do. Come on, baby. Come work it on out. Oh, y'all been watching Dirty Dancing, okay? Oh, honey, come here, will you? I need two more glasses for the girls. Bring a pitcher of beer every seven minutes till somebody passes out. And then bring one every ten minutes, right? You got it. Anyway. You know... Y'all cut my jam off. You study at the library every night? No, I was gonna meet my dad there, but he must be studying at the dorm. <laughs> Twist and shout. Hey, you better sing it, boy. Come on, I'll work it all out. Hey, man, I bet he was a blast to hang with. Hey, man. My man, Buckwild. Well, you came to the right place because guess who's here? Derek Lutz. Hey, man, something wrong with you, man. You know who I am? Um, let me see. Uh, small cranium, uh, 1300cc brain, Neanderthal man. You. Hey, he brave, though. Hey, take it easy, will you? Why can't you drop him like that? Want to make something of it? <laughs> no, no, I never get physical. I just get upset. When I get upset, hey, he gets physical. Shut the f up. You got a problem? Yeah, I've got a problem. Now you do. Hey, Polly is not in her busting ass. <laughs> What's wrong with this man? 
Hey, shut the f*** up. <laughs> hey, why didn't Polly help Rocky none? Well, you look terrible. No, I'm all right. It's Lou I'm worried about. He may lose his trigger finger. I want you to take on the whole football team. The football team at my high school, they were tough. After they sacked the quarterback, they went after his family. Mr. Mellon. How would you characterize the great Gatsby? Me? <laughs> well, the great Gatsby, he was, uh, great. <laughs> See me after class, Mr. Mellon. I mean, you gonna try to f it. You might as well do a homework. I mean, the high school I went to, they asked a the kid to prove the law of gravity. He threw the teacher out the window. <laughs> now, what school did he go to? All right, Mr. Mellon, I have some spare time this evening. Why don't great. you come around about 7? Great. I'll give you my great. address. Hey, shoot a shoot, boy. The best like all conviction, while the worst are full of passionate intensity. There's a lot of other stuff here. Hey, this man got dressed up. I got an idea. Let's keep talking over dinner. I'm supposed to meet someone for dinner. Hey, my man is relentless. I'll take out the garbage. I'll do the dishes. I'll do your nails. I'll do your hair. I'll call him. I'll dial it. Hey. Hey, I'll tell you, he wow, man. I love him. After that, I, I, don't know, I scoot around for a few years, and I really went nuts. I married Vanessa. Is that over now? Oh, we were doomed from the start. I'm an earth sign, she's a water sign. Together we made mud. <laughs> hey, man, that's great. I don't know, I can't figure women out. They only think about themselves. Well, during sex, Vanessa, she used to scream out her own name. Listen, I'm not going to lie to you. I would bust out laughing if that happened to me. I wouldn't be mad. I would just bust out laughing. Now, with women, I never cry, never. I beg. If we finish this bottle of wine, you won't have to beg. Waiter! Let me get another bottle. Oh, he about to be big mad. Diane! Oh, she didn't even see you. You do a good job. What are your charge for big cars? Oh, y'all know he cried in the car on the way home. I had a lot of fun, Thornton. Me too. And thanks for the lesson, I, I learned a lot. You're welcome. Hey, she bad. Just because you're in love with Dr. Turner, that does not mean you're going to pass her course. You've got a major paper coming up on Kurt Vonnegut. I don't understand a word of it. Hi, I'm Kurt Vonnegut. I'm looking for Thornton Mellon. Shut the fuck up. The entire international monetary system. What is that clicking noise? They're taking notes. Are you a student in this class? Ah. Uh. Shut the fuck up. Ain't that um? Ain't that um? I'm Marge Sweetwater. <laughs> Ain't that the secretary in um? Mr. Thornton Mellon's private secretary. First, uh, first, first, uh, first, Bueller. What are you doing here? Taking notes for Mr. Mellon. Good. Take this down. No matter what you do, you will never, ever pass this course. I hate her. But I ain't gonna lie, that's funny that he had somebody in you know, there taking notes like that. Listen, everybody, let's see A's across the board. And an A-plus gets your free trip to Hawaii <laughs> off-season. That's my got a team of people. You're never going to learn a goddamn thing if you got people doing your work for you. He big man, though. I mean, I feel him. I feel both of them, but I feel him. Because there have been plenty of times. Somebody else would have done my work for him. Hey, out of here. Do it. Hey, Valerie. How you doing? Glad to come. Uh, listen, my dad is having a little party tonight. I have a date. Well, hey, bring him along. You know, it's okay. Just both come by. Oh, that's sad. I thought she liked him, you know what I'm saying? Good luck, buddy. Let's get them. I wish you luck, too, but I guess a guy like you doesn't need luck. What's that supposed to mean? I figured since he, uh, bought your way onto the team, he probably bought off the judges, too. Oh, he's a hater. Oh, there's Thornton. No, I... Would you excuse me for a minute? 
That's why Philip ain't gonna pass him. Look, I'm throwing a little party in my room tonight, and you better be there. Sorry, I have a date with Philip tonight. Bring him along. We may run out of ice. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Philip. Hey, coach. How are you? How you doing, huh? thinking of going over to melons are you nuts hey, where do we go valerie please it'll be horrible right you said it it'll be horrible look at your party <laughs> i mean i love this dude oh i love three girls at once my phone is female each other to talk to i didn't even see the third girl what are you going for the uh heavy disassociated artist thing or the i'm going blind thing Huh? He missed that demon car. Maybe this will cheer you up. Oh, do me! Derek, <laughs> get up, will you? You look like the poster boy for birth control. Hey, Robert Daddy Jr. has kept a long way. Why he read off like that? Hey, buddy. Oh. Oh, everybody makes some noise. That's fun. Hey, he gets out of pocket when he gets upset. You there. What's going on here? Greatest party of all time. The whole world is there. The whole world. <laughs> Listen to that racket. This is disgraceful. I should phone security. Oh, <laughs> this might beat him to it. Apparently, I'm not the only one around here with a sense of decency. Shut the f up. Did you see... Where are you going? Intellectual curiosity, Philip. Hey, that's how you know your money long. When you got cops doing beer runs. Say when. Right after this drink. Hey, what's a band without bubbles? Hey, bubbles, come over here, will you? <laughs> hey, bubbles bad to the motherfucker. Well, what's your favorite subject? Oh, uh, poetry. Well, maybe you can help me straighten out my long fellow. <laughs> <laughs> hey. Roddy Dangerfield to call at least five cases in this movie. Excuse me, have you seen Thornton Mellon? And this ain't about to be good. Excuse me, has anyone seen Thornton Mellon? <laughs> that's what I call marine biology. Diane, say hello to my nieces. My nieces. Hey, wait a minute. Hey, she can't be mad. She was just on a date with another dude. There you are. Can we go? I'm bored. Oh. Christ, Osborne, will you just get your ass out of here? Easy, Melon, your father isn't here to back you up this time. Hey, listen. He has swooped the leg. Don't! Surprised he hit him. Hey, come here. Where are you going? I'm leaving school, Dad. I mean, one of us has got to go. You're having such a great time. I'm getting out. Why? I don't get it. Everything I have is because of you. And because of you, I get my, I get my astronomy homework done for me by NASA. By NASA now? Can't you just let me do something for myself? I just want to see you happy, that's all. Well, take a good look. Because I was a lot happier when I was miserable. I'll kick him in the back of his head. Like you want to preach to Brett. Thanks. Nice improvement, thank you. Diane, why'd you fail me? I didn't, Thornton. You failed me. You're not going to pass my course by turning in someone else's work. Tell you something else, whoever did write it doesn't know the first thing about Kurt Vonnegut. Hey, Kurt, you read lips. Fuck you! Oh. Hey, man, what, is, what the fuck is wrong with this man? Oh, golly. Uh, I'm afraid we have a potentially unpleasant situation on our hands. Phil, would you repeat to Mr. Mellon the allegations that you've made to me? Phil's a hater. I'm accusing you of academic fraud. I think Mr. Mellon should be expelled. What are you going to do about it? I will fire him and get a new teacher. Is the work that you turned in your own? Yes, it is. I'm satisfied. I'm outraged. Well, gee whiz. Hey, he said, Phil, you're not going to f*** up my money, bro. 
Oral examination? Yes, if you've done the work you say you have. There should be no problem, should there? Chase. Hey, Lou, how you doing? Come here, I want to tell you something. My two boys, I put one through college, and the other I put through a wall. Damn. He's looking out for you. Look out for him. And for Apollo, just looked like he just got finished drinking a bottle. Like, and Rocky, he looked like he drank because he needed to drink. And this, he looked like he drank so he won't f***ing kill you. It calms him down. I'm sorry, Jason. This college thing was a big mistake. They want me to take oral exams in all my subjects. If I don't take them, they're going to kick me out. And if I take them, who knows where they'll kick me. You told me that a man without an education is nothing. I was telling you that, boy. I'm already rich. I don't need it. Don't quit. I'll help you. <laughs> my money long. I got NASA doing your homework, bro. I don't need this. Not a, not an audio book. Listen, you cannot be doing that to me. Listen. I'm not going to pay attention to shit you talking about. Stop it. Before we begin, special thanks, of course, to Mr. Thornton Mellon, who's the donor of our new Mellon School of Business. Hey. We're wasting time. Hey, it's, it's, I'll tell you, it's always a hater. Always a hater. Now, Mr. Mellon, you'll have three hours to complete the examination. If you fail any part of it, you will be expelled. Bruh, if I pass 10 out of, I mean, 8 out of 9, you know what I'm saying? Bruh, you cannot fail me. Well, Dr. Bobby, I suppose you're up first. Three hours to ask me some shit? That's a long time. I will get aggravated. For Mr. Mellon? In 27 parts. Oh, I like to break him in 27 parts. Excuse me? No, nothing, nothing. He said, you a bitch ass motherfucker. That's what he said. Discuss the foundations of modern global business systems. Boy. Are you getting all this, Mr. Mellon? Yeah, it's a piece of cake. Jason? Mallory. I, uh. You look dead at her titties. He said her name looked dead at her boobs. I'm really sorry. You're a dead boy. And I'm really in love with you, and I really have been for a very long time, and I can't believe I'm saying this. Bro, I can't believe you said that either. Um, are you aware that that's the most you've ever said to me at one time? I love you, too. How? They're in love, buddy. The answer is... Mr. Mellon. Hey, 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 relax. This man's been put under a lot of pressure here. Let's take it easy on it. Say it! Say it! Hey, bruh. The answer is... Four? <laughs> hey, that's what you get, bitch. Right. Hey, I shake my dick at him. I swear I would. Hold it. That's it. I can't take it no more. I feel like I just gave birth. Ew. Wait a minute, Thornton. Hey, listen, I'm telling you, I would talk so much to old boy, but yeah, she's over here with me. Me. You remember when we discussed the Dylan Thomas poem? Yeah, you was butt-ass naked. Thornton, think. What's going on here? None of your business, bitch. Relax. It's my turn. You look like a bird. Into that good night. Old age should burn in rage at at close of day. Shut the f up. Do not go gentle into that good night. I see you, boy! And you, my father, there in the sad height, curse. Hey, man. Friday Dangerfield got some eyes on him. It means I don't take shit from no one. I'm gonna pass this test. I'm staying in school. Who's next? Current conference champion, Doug Nelson. I'm just saying, man. 
everybody got on sweaters and jackets and coats and shit, and they diving. It's got to be cold as fuck out there. Hey, asshole. He trying to kill people. Well, are you interested in Valerie Desmond? Because she's with me. Well, I wouldn't break my arm patting myself on the back if I were you. And you're going to end up just like your father. Rich, thank you. You know what I'm saying? Rich and everybody likes me. I appreciate that. Thank you. Jason, dive yet? Not yet. Did you pass? I don't know. They're going to let me know. Jason Nellon. That's so pretty. <laughs> that one judge like PJ Carlissimo. Helen's dive has put the Hooters back in this meet. Ow! What's the matter? Boy. I have got a really bad cramp. I've been having really bad cramps all week. It's probably menstrual. Screw you, Melon. And that's funny as hell. Coach Turnbull, you got another eligible diver? Melon! Melon! Get your suit on! Come on, show him what you got. Come on. Melon! It's rare seeing Polly smile. I don't think I've seen him smile. I, have, have I seen him smile? I've seen him smile twice. Twice. Right before he was about to f that robot in this. And my man came back out with a robe and everything. The triple Lindy. Is that hard? That's impossible. The f is the triple Lindy. <laughs> Shut the f up. Up, man. <laughs> hey, bro, I wouldn't give a f yeah, perfect entry or not. You do all that. Hey, bro, you get tens. You could have belly flopped out that bitch. Tens. That was great. <laughs> oh, you were that was incredible. I guess there's nothing you can do. I've got the results of your exams right here. Why didn't Philip bring them? I feel like Philip should have brought them. All D's and an A. Who gave me the A? I did. Oh. This is the first time in the history of this fine institution that a freshman has given this address. I know he about to say something wild. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you, Dean Martin. Ain't Dean Martin like one of the Rat Pack? I have, I have only, only one, one thing, thing to say to you today. today. You gotta look out for number one, but don't step at number two. Hey man, he buck wild, bro. To all you graduates, my advice to you is, don't go. Move back with your parents. Let them worry about it. I'm telling you, man, he makes the best faces. Right, that's the... Just a little bit, just a little bit, just a little bit, just a little bit. <laughs> All right, we just got finished watching Back to School. I absolutely love that movie. It was it was a blast. Rodney Dangerfield's amazing in it. He's fucking hilarious. Hell, Robert Downey Jr. is fucking hilarious in it. <laughs> And it's just so funny seeing him that young, man. Like, he's a wild boy. I absolutely enjoyed this. Ronnie Dangerville is a good dad, man. He was a good dad. Like, hey, man, hey. But my man, he's out. Hey, he's buck wild. He's out of pocket. He say some wild shit. 
I'm telling you, I, I think he'll be fun to hang with. I like I think he'll be a full blast to hang like to hang with. I love the fact that the character that he plays in this and um in Caddyshack, like he's rich as hell, but he he's not stuck up. He's just a regular person who just got a lot of dough. You know what I'm saying? Like he likes to have fun. He takes care of people. Like he over tips in both of them. You know what I'm saying? Like, like that hey, that that's a good dude, bro. Old boy from the Crowdy Kid, punk. I don't even know the benefit of faking hurt at the end. Bruh, they got twos and threes. All you got to do is just anything. Do what you did earlier. You know what I'm saying? Like, they they was horrible. I, <laughs> I'm mad that Donna Coach told him he's going to do the triple, little, triple Wendy. And my man pulled this shit out with no warm-up. <laughs> Like he didn't even ask what job he was gonna do. He just told him he, they announced it. He was just like, "All right, bet." It went all about his business. It was good seeing Polly in this. You know what I'm saying? At the same time, it's still fuck Polly, but you know, Polly, Polly's family. You know what I'm saying? He he knows what I mean when I say fuck him. He knows what I mean. Yeah, this is this is a good fun time. I see why this won the poll. And hey, Robert Downey Jr., right? he just, he was funny as hell. He played weird, so, <laughs> so good. But, um, <laughs> I just noticed Rob stared at me like that. But, um, like I said, I hope y'all enjoyed this. Because I enjoyed watching for y'all. Remember, if you want to watch this or any of my other full limbs, just head over to Patreon. But, um, speaking of Patreon, Give a shout out to the VIPs. I'm gonna give a shout out to Leslie Trey, John Harold, Becca June, their beautiful dog Missy, Big Al Robin, Big Frank, Cody Stoudemire, Paul Swick, um, Paul Swicky, Frost 1997, Anna Rondo, Jeff Jernigan, Adam, Grady B. Olsen, Red Tail C, TJ Gangler, Thomas the Brandon's Garrett, Elizabeth Esposito, Nicholas Jenkins, Super Nobody, Rachel Martinez, Jennifer Natalie, BB98, Nareen, Nick, Cope Movies at Midnight, Jamie Gibson, Miguel Brooks. Caleb, Steve McCluzo, Echo, Pins, Sammy, Zachary, <laughs> Jonathan Patrick. Come here. Come here. Come here. Jonathan Patrick, Ron, Rocket, Beardo, Blackbeard, Bob, Hot Indie Media, I'm in Lock, Jake Stimson, Benign Boar, Jake Flogging, Tony A. Ergon, Captain Roberts, Dom, LeVar Hawkins, Show, Colin LaShore, Jason, Holly Smith, Brad Williams, Rick, Miranda, Michael Clark, Jesse, Gina, Luke the First, Antoinette, Cecil, Maddie Def, Fast Phone Guy, Burrito, Amy K, Ralphie Long Island, Bianca, The Salt Nation, Brandon W, Adrian, Trey Nicholson, Kyrie Wolf, and Summer Devins. It's the new, newest member. Thank all y'all for being VIPs. I want to thank everybody else for being part of the family as well. Thank y'all for taking the time out y'all's day. Come hang with us. It's about time for me to cook for my babies. So, y'all be good. Y'all be safe. Night, night.